welcome to To The Point, presented by The Edge here in Stephenville on Washington. Today, our guest on the show will be Charlton's Vice President for Intercollegiate Athletics, Lon Reisman. And if you're not familiar with Lon's work here over the past 30 plus years, let me very quickly fill you in. He started in 1988 as the head men's basketball coach, and for 30 years at Charlton, he won more, hundred, more than 650 games. He doubled as the Charlton Athletics director during most of that time and has guided Charlton Athletics all the way from NAIA to where it is today as a Division I program. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you, Byron. Let's start with this. Uh, we've gotten through now the first year as a Division I program, the, uh, at least on the athletic side of things, not all the way through the first year, but we are beginning to look towards year number two. And my first question is just, as we move to year number two, how do you feel about year number one and moving into year number two? What are some of your goals? Well, first of all, going into year number one, uh, who would ever believe that in year number one, we would be a transition team and we have to deal with a pandemic on top of it. And so it has been a very, you know, it's been a year that we've had to make a, a lot of adjustments. I thought our coaches and our student athletes and our staff did a tremendous job. As you know, we played all of our sports in the spring. I thought we were uh, very successful. We had some great wins in our first year of transition. Uh, I, I'm very pleased with where the programs are at, at this point. Uh, we're completing uh, all of our paperwork and uh, updating our performa and updating our strategic plan, our hub. Uh, that'll all be submitted here by June 1st. Uh, as we enter our second year of Division Division uh, One, as of July 1st, and so I'm I'm pleased with what's happened uh, this year. I'm really pleased with the academic end of things, of which we've done academically, which we can talk about a little later. I think you have you want to talk about, but but uh, very pleased where we are right now, entering our second year uh, of transition as of July 1st, 21. You mentioned the academic success that we've had. Uh, we just had a story come out on TarletonSports.com about that. Spring semester was great for Tarleton University Athletics. Uh, we had 333 eligible students, and those students, student athletes, I should say, those student athletes carried a 3.11 GPA in the spring. Uh, APR uh, is something that we're, we're starting to get used to and hearing about, and that's got to put a big smile on your face because I know hearing you talk over the last year, there's been a lot of priorities, right? We've got to do a lot of things, but I think, uh, you know, in the classroom was number one for you. How do you feel about uh, when you see numbers like these? Well, I'm I'm elated right now, to be honest with you, Byron. We had 55 student athletes with a 4.0. Let me say that again. 55 student athletes with a 4.0, which is historical for our, for our athletic department. Uh, we had uh, over 200 I want to say I know, way over 200 student athletes had a 3.0. 68% of our student athletes had a 3.0 or better. That's huge. Wow. Yeah. I have to, and I attribute that a lot to uh, the success of building a new academic Division One department that we have worked on all year long, along with our Division One compliance department. And so, two very very high priorities for me was to make sure that we were in compliance and doing our best to adjust to the new rules of Division One. Eric Heyer, who came in and has established that compliance department, has done a tremendous job. He oversaw our academic area, and that has really, really done a great job of, of turning our academic area into a Division One academic uh, area. And so you, it shows by what our student athletes were able to accomplish. Now, I want to give some credit to our coaches, too, and, uh, and our sports supervisors that have looked over our student athletes all year long, because as you've said, you've been in all the meetings. One of my highest priorities was the academic end of our student athletes. <clears throat> the winning will come and the winning is important, but the academic uh, structure that we want to establish as a division one athletic department was my highest priority this year. We'll get our first APR report coming out in the fall. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a very positive APR for us, as you know, the academic structure of Division One is much higher than Division Two, and APR is a, a absolute priority for us because there's so many things that we have to accomplish academically to be successful in Division One. So uh, it was a great year for that part of our program too. 
One of the other things that happened here is we visit with the VP of Intercollegiate Athletics here at Tarleton State University, Lon Reisman. One of the other things that has happened in the last couple of months that I think was very exciting for people my age that, you know, played baseball here in the early 2000s was the expansion of the Western Athletic Conference and specifically adding some old rivals, uh, teams like ACU, Sam Houston State, Lamar, uh, and also SFA that we've played a number of times and actually we'll kick off the football season with this year. But adding those teams to the WAC and, and now having a football season and a football conference in the WAC. Can you talk about, uh, you know, your excitement moving forward and how, you know, the WAC has grown? I think personally a lot of people, when I talked to them, said, why are we going to the WAC? Shouldn't we be doing this or doing that? And I think Dr. Hurley, our president's foresight and your foresight, and to what the Western Athletic Conference is forming into is really exciting. How excited are you about it? Well, I think you, you, you hit on a point. I think Dr. Hurley made a tremendous decision of going to the WAC. <clears throat> we had other opportunities, but I think the WAC was, the, was what he saw and what it could become. Um, there's no doubt that the WAC, you know, we say this now, the WAC is back, and it is. WAC is a very established conference. It is a mid-major plus conference. And it gave us the visibility, not only in Texas, but it gave us visibility nationally because of all the big areas, you know, the cities of Seattle or Salt Lake or L.A. or Phoenix or Chicago. It's putting Tarleton, the visibility of Tarleton all over the nation. Now, with the addition of the expansion schools, with like you've said, Lamar and uh, uh, Stephen F. and Sam and ACU and in Southern Utah is coming in in 22. Yeah. Uh, it's put us into divisional play for the first time. You know, we're going to have a, a Southwest division and we're going to have a West division in some, in some of our sports. But the thing that I was very, uh, you know, what we wanted in, in the WAC was a football count. We wanted to restore football in the WAC. It was very important for us to restore football in the WAC. And with those football schools coming in, now we have a great, great football conference in FCS football. Let's just be honest. We have the national champion in the WAC now. We have Sam Houston State that's joined us, and they just won the FCS National Championship in football that will be coming to Stephenville next year to play. The national champion will be on our field playing us next year. And so with the expansion, we're up to 13 universities now. Uh, you know, we're continue, continuing to grow. I think you're going to see another university or two that will expand into our conference. There's definitely one thing I can say to all of our folks listening to this this morning is the WAC is back. And we're proud to be a part of the WAC, and it's going to take Tarleton to new heights. It is exciting, and if uh, you want to be part, same Houston State, one of six different games uh, that we will host here at Tarleton State coming up in the fall, tarletonsports.com backslash tickets. You can get your tickets, season tickets today. Individual ticket sales will go on in a couple of weeks. Uh, so look forward to that. Let's move on to something that happens about, it's about a month away. And it's one of the most uh, exciting and fun events that we have all year. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. That is the 30th annual Perry Elliott Plowboy Shootout. It's presented by First Financial Bank. Coach, let's first talk about there's been a change in the name, and it's uh, somebody that you and I are a big fan of, a guy that was a supporter here at Tarleton State for a long time. Perry Elliott passed away last year, and there was a vote to make him the namesake for the tournament. Can you talk about – how much uh, Perry did for Tarleton Athletics? I, I don't know if I have enough time to, to tell people what Perry did for athletics at Tarleton State University because he did so much for us. Um, he wasn't just a supporter, but he was also in attendance on everything that we did at Tarleton State University. He was a co-chair of this golf tournament for the last 33 years that I've been here. Um, he's just done it. He was a tremendous, tremendous uh advocate of Tarleton Athletics, a tremendous supporter, a tremendous man, a tremendous role model. And uh, we miss him very, very, very much. And it was only, you know, definitely we needed to put his stamp on this golf tournament because this golf tournament meant a lot to Perry. He knew that this golf tournament provided scholarships for the student athletes at Tarleton State University. And he was always so, uh, you know, wanted to be so involved in making sure that the students were taken care of and making sure that they were getting a quality education, which they get at Tarleton State University. And they were having a, a great experience at Tarleton. And, and Perry wanted to be there for support and attendance. So we will miss him at this golf tournament this year. 
Uh, we already miss him terribly in our athletic department, but I know he's looking from up above, looking down, and I think he's going to be very proud of what we're accomplishing here at Carleton. And, and, and I feel very good about naming this golf tournament after Perry Elliott, who has been on the Texan Club Board of Directors for all the years that I, I've been here. And, uh, you know, and the Texan Club has put on the Plowboy Golf Tournament for the last 33 years. It's They host it. They've done a great job of helping us execute uh, uh, our attendance at the golf tournament, our, you know, like you've said, you know, uh, the participants that are going to be playing, uh, the co-sponsors that are going to be, be involved and some of the corporate sponsors that are involved in this, this is a huge undertaking. And I really appreciate the Texan club board of directors being a part of it. Yeah. And that event takes place on January or excuse me, Jul June, uh, 25th. June 25th. And it will start. There's two different, uh, um, uh, Times time. that you can start, shotgun starts. Yep. Those will be 8 a.m. and about 1. You can sign up for the afternoon. There's still spots available. Again, to do that, charltonsports.com backslash tickets. You can sign up for a whole sponsorship, or you can sign up your team or just as an individual. You can do it all there at charltonsports.com backslash tickets. The next day, we've kind of made a weekend out of the whole thing. The next day on the 26th of June, we will have the Hall of Fame induction, and we've got some new – inductees going in, Derek Ross, uh, Jerry Doyle, uh, another golfer going in, um, Carla Cooper, and then somebody that I know you're familiar with who he ran track, but he also uh, was coached by you. That's Colette Johnson. Uh, I know it's got to be exciting. We didn't get to have this event last year because of the pandemic. Uh, the Hall of Fame, can you talk about what it means to you as a member and then also uh, how important it is to, to be putting these new members in? Well, you know, I've always said that the Hall of Fame, and I'm very pleased with the with the class that's coming in this year. They're all very worthy, and and, and they're they're the best of the best of Tarleton State University. All of our Hall of Fame members are the best of the best. I'm excited about putting the Hall of Fame in conjunction with the Plowboy Golf Tournament this year, because I, you know, we're trying to attract as many of our Hall of Famers back as we can to be a part of the Hall of Fame ceremony. I think it's very important as we look at Division One athletics is how important our Hall of Fame members are. We need their support and we need their attendance because they are the leaders of, of all the different programs that they are associated with of being a Hall of Famer. And so I want to encourage all of our Hall of Famers to come back this weekend. We have the Colonel Tate breakfast in the morning and we have the dinner that evening at 7 o'clock. All of those for our Hall of Famers, you know, uh, that I would love to have them participate in. We're looking forward to having them back on our campus. And if they'd like to participate in the golf tournament, again, we want them in the golf tournament. You know, our, our boosters and, and, and our supporters would love to see our Hall of Famers come back because it's a, they're, they're, they're a special group. And, and, and looking forward to seeing them participate and be in attendance at this Hall of Fame weekend. Well, it, it should be a fun weekend. Once again, the golf tournament is June 25th. And the Hall of Fame dinner is June 26th. It's they're both open to the public. Charltonsports.com backslash tickets. Finally, let's talk about the Texan Club. That is up and running again this year. The Texan Club is our annual fund that here we have here at Charlton State University. You're one of the original people uh, that started the Texan Club. Uh, how much does it mean when people join the Texan Club? And it's you know the other thing that I think is cool is they kind of it's their way to be a part of Charlton Athletics. Well, Tarleton Athletics is a family. There's no doubt about that. I think that's one of the great things that everybody feels like. They all have a partnership. They all have an ownership. They all feel like they are a part of the Tarleton Athletic Department. In the Texan Club, when you join the Texan Club membership, you are a part of the Texan family. You have a, a voice and uh, you have an attendance and you have, you know, you're giving us the support that our student athletes need to be successful in NCAA Division One. NCAA Division One is a is a is a different world that we're that we're getting used to. We're playing teams that that, that are out there that that we probably never in, never envisioned that we would play. Byron, we're playing you know, in the future. We're playing TCU in football. We're playing Texas Tech in football. We're playing Baylor in football in the future. We're playing Texas A and M in the future. We're, we're we're dealing with other universities and getting them on our schedules. You know, this year, you know, we played our softball team beat, beat Tech, defeated Texas Tech in softball in, in UTEP, and our volleyball team beat TCU twice in Louisiana Tech, and our football team beat their first FBS school ever in the history of Tarleton when they beat New Mexico State at New Mexico State this year on the road. 
Uh, all of our programs were very successful, but we cannot continue. The reason we were so great in Division Two is that we had such great support of the Texan Club. Now we're asking people, we really need them to step up to another level now. If, you know, we are a Division One university, and, 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 and we're proud of where we're at. And I know that people that support us are proud of where we've come. And so, yes, we need their support, and Texan Club is a great way that, for them to support us. And if you need more information, Aaron, you know that they can call you and that you'll give them all the information they need to how to join the Texan Club. Yeah, and if you want to join online, you can go to tarletonsports.com backslash donate to join the Texan Club. Well, Coach, I want to tell you thank you for taking a couple of minutes to join us here today. Excited about the future of Tarleton Athletics in year number two of Division I play. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time today. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, and hey, everybody, let's get a chance to come back to our campus, stop by to see me. Have a great summer and a safe summer. God bless. Yeah. Thanks to all of you that tuned in. Like Coach said, don't forget, follow Tarleton Sports on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember, football tickets, Texan Club, all on sale right now. TarletonSports.com backslash tickets, TarletonSports.com backslash donate. Until the next time, everybody, stay safe, and we'll see you at the game.